Hello, I'm so glad you can join me this evening. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, I am, I am about to season up a pork shoulder. I have over here a large pork shoulder. I've already cleaned it and I cut all the fat, as much fat as I can get off of it. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be seasoning this up marinating it and put it down i'm not cooking it today today is saturday i am going to be cooking it tomorrow but i wanted to season it up today so that it would be all nice and seasoned and marinated and everything for tomorrow so when i have my sunday dinner it would be nice and yummy so i want to take you along with me to show you exactly how i do it today is saturday so this is gonna be my sunday dinner so let me show you how i am gonna marinate my pork shoulder my pork shoulder for tomorrow so the first thing i'm gonna do let me put this aside it's heavy the first thing i'm gonna do is over here i have some herbs that i already cut up I'm going to start with some peppers in here. This is some green peppers and some red <coughs> peppers. Those are bell peppers. And over here, I have one large onion. I'm going to throw that in there. Now, I'm not going to grind everything together because then it don't grind properly. So I'm just going to do part of it, grind that up, and then do the other part. Okay, so this is good. So I'm going to take this out. And I have a bowl here that I'm just going to empty this in. This is just peppers and onions. That's it. That's all that's in here. Okay. So let's put another set in there. I love this thing because it makes life so much easier. And you still, oops, instead of you having to cut up so much stuff, just dump it in there. I love it. I have here some dry thyme. These were fresh. I had them for a while. They turned dry, so we're gonna use those. This is two celery sticks that I chopped up in there. Leaves and everything. I have here two peanut peppers. I chopped up. I left the seeds and everything in there so that they could be a little bit spicy. This is like four scallions in here. And this is one cap, one carrot, one big carrot. I don't have any garlic, so I'm going to use garlic powder. So I'm just going to chop these up right now. Guys, if you have like fresh uh, parsley, things like that, you can go ahead. Anything fresh. You can just go ahead and add to this. This is what it looks like. Just mixing it all up together. So now I'm going to go ahead and season this up. Now that I have my herbs here all chopped up, I need to add now my seasonings to it. So I'm going to start by using a little bit of curry powder. And guys, there's no measurement here. They're just whatever seasonings you like. You don't have to use curry powder. This is just stuff that I have that I use. And I just pour some in and you just do the same thing. So you don't have to say, I have to get curry powder. No, use whatever, Old Bay seasoning, whatever it is that you have in your pantry that you like to use is what you'll season that up with this is some parsley flakes fresh parsley would have been great if i had some i didn't so we use the the flakes here instead um garlic powder and a fresh garlic is always good i didn't have fresh garlic so i'm using some powder um i'm going to add a little salt to that Add a little bit of salt and this what's in here oh, we don't need that one 
I don't need that one. What is this? Black pepper. Let's do some black pepper. Yeah. And let's do some all purpose seasoning. I'm just eyeballing and sprinkling. I'm not using any particular amount. I have here in here some jerk seasoning. I'm going to use that. That has a lot of spices and stuff up inside of it. That's the mold seasoning. And here I have some, oops, forgot to take, this is a new bottle, so I forgot to take the um, top off. Let me take that off. Oh, there we go. We're going to add some ketchup to that. And I have here some Tina Rain hot sauce. I'm going to add some. So, so far we got a lot of spicy stuff in here. So, it's going to be pretty hot. And now I'm going to add some olive oil. To that. And then all I'm going to do is mix this all up. Oh. And I'm going to add to that as well some browning. Just a little bit. And now I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to put these away first. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this all together well. Get all those herbs and spices all mixed in there. good and now we're going to season our meat with this stuff so now I have over here my meat oh this thing is heavy guys it's a big pork shoulder so, so I am going to stuff this meat all over so I have a little knife here that I'm going to just put some slits inside of the pork right like that and then I'm going to take some of this and just stuff it in there in that little pocket in there stuff it in there like that and then I'm going to find some place to make another slit another little pocket and Stuff some more of it all the way inside. Close it up. Where else can we find another slit? Yeah, and just stuff it in there. Under the skin right here, Let me turn this around that you can see. Under the skin right here, I'm gonna make a pocket in there. And I'm gonna stuff. I think we pretty much got it all on the inside in those little pockets. So now I'm just gonna take the rest of it and just marinate all over all in those little seal pockets I have more than enough seasoning on here to marinate this for the morning I stuffed it as well as I can so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some foil on this and put it in the refrigerator and tomorrow when I wake up all I have to do is put it in the oven okay guys Today is Sunday and I'm ready to cook my pork shoulder that I had marinating overnight. So let me open it here. I think I've been thinking about this and I think that this foil that I have in this pan is too small because look, it already have enough liquid. I didn't put any liquid in here, but the liquid from the vegetables and so on now it looks like there's a lot of liquid in here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this out and put it into a bigger pan so 
let me try to take it out here there's a lot of stuff in here guys you see all that stuff ah and these vegetables and so on is just gonna create liquid and I don't want the liquid to come over into the stove and I have all that cleaning so I put it in a bigger pan like this now I am not going to put any water to this because by the time the meat is going to produce liquid and all these um, herbs and stuff in here is going to produce more liquid. So I do not need to put liquid in here. I'm going to put a little bit of butter because I didn't put any butter in here. Guys, so I have some butter here. I'm going to take some butter out of here. And I'm just going to put some butter inside of that. Put a little bit on top and that's all the butter that I'm going to use in here I'm going to cover this pan with some foil and I am going to seal this tightly this in the oven at 350 degrees and let it just stay at least for three hours in there this is a big pork shoulder I'm just gonna let it take it time and cook in about three hours I will check it and I will be back to show you the finished process also today with my Sunday dinner I'm also gonna make some green peas and rice and some vegetables so I'll be back to show you what that looks like okay guys so i just took the pork out of the oven it has been in the oven for three hours so let's just look at it and see what it looks like Ooh. steam ah. oh, the skin is stuck to the foil piece of foil until it's cooked right through so what I'm going to do here at this stage is I'm gonna take it out of this bigger pan right here now because I don't need this big pan anymore and I'm gonna put it in here and just put it back in and basically just brown it because it's cooked and it's done See guys, it's been in the oven for three hours, so I'm going to put it back in the oven. And all this nice liquid that was in there, I'm going to cook some rice and I'm going to use some of this liquid to cook the rice. But let me tell you something, when you cook meat like this and you have this liquid, you don't throw this away, you save this. So I will use some of this to cook my rice. I use some of this to make gravy. If you have any le left over, you can get a safe container that could go in the freezer and you can freeze this as your stock. You freeze this and when you want, when you have something to cook, you can use this same stock to cook it. Do not throw it away. So I'm gonna put, just I'm just gonna throw a little bit in here so I would have a little bit at the bottom so it doesn't stick in there. And I'm gonna put this back in inside of the oven just to brown it and then I will take it back out. Okay guys, so the pork shoulder is all done. Here it is, it looks yummy. Now I cooked this in the oven for three hours and then I took it out and I put it back in the oven. What I forgot to tell you was, what I forgot to tell you was that I, to base it, so when I put it back in the oven, I kept every few minutes opening the oven and basting it, putting some liquid on the top to make sure it didn't dry out. So I kept basting it. So I did that for an hour. So all together it's been in the oven for about four hours. So it's pretty much done. It is done. And I want to taste it for you know, I also cooked some rice and um, some vegetables, which I will plate in a minute. But before I do that, I wanted to taste this to make sure it tastes well. So let me take a taste of it. So let me cut a piece. Look at all of that. Um, I 
Oh, that looks so good. All those nice herbs and stuff on it. It looks so good. Let me taste it for you. This is the best part of me cooking. I get to taste it for you. Since you're not here to taste it, I get to taste it. Guys, all those herbs in there, all those seasoning in there, it is good. Mm. I'm a good cook. <laughs> Guys, it tastes really good. So let me put some on the plate and I'll come back and show you. Let me slice a couple pieces of this meat. That looks so good, guys. Nice and juicy and tender. And I don't make gravy, guys, because, um, my rice, when I cook this rice, the same liquid that cooked this meat, I put inside of the rice when I was cooking the rice. Okay, guys. So this is my Sunday dinner. We have a variety of vegetables right here. I have a piece of sweet potato. I have some rice that is cooked with the gravy from the meat, the, the leftover drippings, I cook the rice with it, and I have some pork here sliced up. This is my Sunday dinner. Guys, I had fun making this. I hope you are able to season up some pork the way you season it, make some slits, put your seasonings and so on inside of it. And make yourself a nice pork shoulder. Put it in the oven. Let it take its time and cook. All that drippings that's left over. You can make your gravy with that. You can keep that and cook your rice with it. You can even add it to soup. So whatever you want to add it to. Don't throw it away. Get a nice container that you can put in the freezer. A safe container. And put it in the freezer until you're ready to use it again. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and press that bell icon up there. Until next time, bye-bye.